All right, I was going to work on uh, this little horse right now, but um, I've just gotten a request from the uh, gallery that uh, asked me to do the uh, sculpture of uh, Crazy Horse, which is right here. And uh, he asked me to get some pictures of it so he can send it to the client and get the dimensions and everything like that. So I've got to clear off my table uh, so I can put uh, the clay of Crazy Horse on it. And then I can uh, set up my camera to take some photographs of it and the uh, lighting above it as well. Yeah, well, you can't see that. <laughs> anyway, so it's going to take me a while to do that because I've got everything anchored down right now. And so I've got to unanchor everything and try to figure out where to put everything until I get ready to uh, work on the uh, or take photographs. I have decided, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and a friend of mine uh, who made those uh, uh, silicone tools, those silicone sculpting tools, suggested this. She said, why don't you try, uh, use the uh, monster clay as your under clay and uh, put regular JMAC clay on top of it because JMAC is, you know, doesn't harden up like this stuff and it would make it a lot easier and I'm used to using it, but uh, this would make it perfect under the uh, clay type of uh, armature. Sorry, my video is not that good because I'm hand holding it. Um, so I'm going to try that and we'll see what happens. I sort of wanted to get these, uh, this, you know, back onto this clay, but a sale takes precedence over uh, my desires to work on this clay. <laughs> um, anyway, I just need to uh, get all this uh, stuff done and uh, then email it off to uh, the, the gallery. So I don't think I'm going to be working much on this today at all. In fact, probably not at all, because then I'd have to reset everything back up on the uh, sculpting stand so that I can you know, get back to work. Now, I did print up a bunch of uh, anatomy uh, pictures of a horse. And yeah, I still use my anatomy pictures. Um, I got these off the uh, internet. Uh, you just do a Google search for horse anatomy. And you can, you can use uh, the words 3D um, anatomy or, you know, uh, what, is, what is the name of that? program uh, zbrush ana uh, anatomy pictures of a horse for artists always end your search with the words for artists if you don't do that you'll be getting all kinds of other crap but uh anyway i just thought i'd show you what i've got here but uh so just showing you how much i'm getting into this but uh, i'm enjoying working on, on this but i may have to put it aside if uh I get to go ahead to finish up this uh, clay of crazy horse and uh so everything's up in the air right now so i'll uh catch up uh with you guys uh at another t time um i'm really encouraged by all the people who you know this is a personal note uh i'm encouraged by the numbers of people that have donated to my daughter's uh, fund on GoFundMe. I'll put the link below here so you can uh, donate if you wish to. Um, she's going to be strapped with a lot of debt. And uh, on top of the fact that uh, she's fighting for her life and needs all the financial help she can. She's been moved to another facility uh, from the hospital. So I love you all, um, every one of you that have donated. Um, I appreciate it a lot. I, I can't even tell you how much. And uh, all right, I'm going to get busy here and uh, I'll see you next time. Good night.